speaking of having babies, <laughs> the race for the White House <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looks a whole lot different since we've been gone because there was no vice presidential pick when we yeah, left. That's right. Oh, that's true. So uh, she has picked uh, for her VP, her Minnesota governor, Tim Walz. Yep. And I have to say, together, they've been building a lot of momentum. Yeah. Because people seem to feel like, all right, there, there is an alternative. There's yes. a big alternative here. And so I'll, I'll throw this out. Has this changed the direction oh my gosh. Of, uh, of, the, of this race? And do you think the momentum's going to last? I do. I, I have to say, I was at the DNC. Mm -hmm. I went to Chicago. It's the first political convention I've ever gone to. Oh, Because okay. it's the first one I've wanted to go to. Mm. Ah. And it was a party. No, Obama, okay? what about Obama? No, I didn't go to I that. I went either. to that one. I didn't go to yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And um, when little John came down the staircase, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, this is a different kind of convention, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And what I also felt like, Whoopi, was, you know, f when Trump was president, we heard his inaugural speech. Yeah. which was death and despair and how horrible our lives were, and only he could fix it. Mm -hmm. The message that I heard from Tim, well, I'm calling him Tim now, but <laughs> from the governor and from the vice president was, alone we survive, but together we thrive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, she said something else. She said, the measure of the strength of a leader is based on who you, not who you beat down, Instead, what we know is the true measure of the strength of a leader is based on who you lift up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was the difference. Right. The difference. Right? So it was joyful. It was joyful. I mean, and I, I, people always seem to think that Republicans have, you know, the corner on patriotism and the flag. Yeah. I was waving my flag. People were waving their flags. It yeah. was unbelievably patriotic. It was about America's hope mm -hmm. and dreams. I, I, I... I feel hopeful right. again. So there is no doubt that the momentum is on Kamala Harris's side right now, but I've been talking to a lot of pollsters, and I just, I, and I know how we feel uh -oh. about the polls. They say this, we live in such an era of polarization that she's running a flawless campaign. She could ride out on a Pegasus with bald eagles and a sword, and she's not going to pull 10 points ahead because people tend to vote against the other party and with the jersey that they wear. That said, she's running really smart. I was at the convention for CNN. Mm -hmm. I closed my eyes at one point, and I was like, this could be Mitt Romney speaking. When she talked about supporting Israel's rights to defend itself, standing with Ukraine and allies, she did say she does not support... Sounds voting. like Biden. She does not support uh, banning fracking. There's yeah. other ways to address climate change, mm -hmm. but also care about the energy sector and the jobs that they create. And she's talking about onshoring American jobs and rebuilding the middle class. So this is not how she ran in 2020 when she ran on some things that were more to the left. She realizes the majority of this country is closer to the center. Donald Trump's too far right and too extreme for them. And if she keeps winning this, running this way for the next 60 plus days, I think she can pull it off. Well, I love the speeches. I, I felt like it was a coming back to what we grew up watching. The, mm -hmm. All the speeches of politicians used to be kind of motivating you to stand up and be a part of a movement. And I felt uh, First Gentleman Doug's speech and uh, Tim Waltz. family, blended yeah. families. Yeah, well, the biggest thing it hit for me is I, I don't care what your policies are before I know who you are. Mm -hmm. So show me your integrity, show, you, show me your character, and then I'm willing to listen and have a conversation. And to me, what I saw in both of those speeches that actually brought me to tears was how they love and how they are loved. Mm. And to see this normalcy of family that's actually presented in a very modern way, blended families, yes. blended faith, mm. um, a divorce, and yet a thank, uh, you know, a thank, thank you to his ex-wife. Yes. Like, a beautiful way of showing how you can handle life and how it's gonna be dealt to all of us, but it was so warm. So at that point, I thought, you didn't, ha now we can talk about policy, and they did that too. Yes, they did. Which I loved. It was not about attacking, it wasn't about going after someone on the other side because there was nothing to no talk about. No calling. No, each nope. day had themes. They honored right. different things. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so perfectly rolled out that yeah. I don't know how anyone watched any part of it and wasn't like, you got me, like, I'm so, <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Can I mention no, one thing? Oh, sorry, you go ahead. Uh, I went to a, um, an event with Tim Waltz out in um, yeah. Long Island uh, this summer. And uh, he was the kind of guy, I can't, yeah. this is the way I can express it. He, if you ran into, if you were lost, yeah. you would ask him for directions. <laughs> really? Because he seems safe and he seems sane. He, uh, J.D. Vance, you ask him for directions, he'd probably put you in traffic. Yes. <laughs> so 
I found the, I mean, I'm, I'm an instinctive person. So mm -hmm. my instinct is that the guy, even, I remember when Obama came on the show the first yes. time, he and Michelle, and I thought these people are normal. They're yeah. sane. The other side is just nuts. Yeah. Yes. They're so, nuts. So this is what I was thinking about, because you guys, I'm a Republican. I've never voted for a Democrat. And I was, I've been listening to how she's campaigning and what she's talking about to, to see how could I get there. Yeah. And the campaign she ran in 2020, I couldn't be with. She talked about defunding the police. I mentioned banning fracking, the Green New Deal. But now she's talking differently. And I think this is why. I entered the former administration where I served in the White House and DOD as a, a lot more far right than I am now. Mm -hmm. And then I started getting intel briefings. I started realizing you are a public servant of all Americans and no one side has all the right good ideas. Uh -huh. If she, and she kind of alluded to this when she sat down with CNN's uh -huh. Dana Bash, now she has meant more information and her values haven't changed, changed, but the way to get there has. So I think that there's a way that she's kind of maybe centered. So you're going to vote for her? Are you voting for her? I'm going to hear more. It, it, We're it, it, still a while out, but um, I think she's I think always she's... been moderate. And you and yeah. I have discussed this. Yeah. She is a former prosecutor. Prosecutors right. generally are not like into but crime she... and they don't like criminals. But that's one aspect. And, but because there are other aspects she ran... in her career. Well, I, don't I think, think, I don't think people go. think it's Sometimes yeah. people evolve and grow. That's yeah, and, that's and the difference perhaps now is someone has actually admitted it yep. without being afraid of saying, yes. yeah, I thought that then, mm -hmm. but this is what I think now and here's why. And also and she's allowed that, to do it now. And that is something that everybody can recognize because yeah. everybody here has done that. So she's hitting on many, many levels, mm -hmm. which is what you are all saying. Yeah. And I also kind of feel she has always been who she was. She's yeah. never been, she was, you can say a lot of things. You can never say she was not authentic. Yeah. That's no. right. She's always been who she was. Right. If she doesn't get it, she says, I don't get it, but OK, we'll try this. Mm -hmm. And if she does get it, she says, this is what I think. And if she, and if she gets it and then she shifts, she says, yeah. But the, the thing for, for everybody to keep in mind is this is on us. Mm -hmm. This is ours to win or lose. What you want to see is American, it's in your hands. And you got to help people get to where they need to go because one of the things that they are letting us know is that when you vote, if someone marks that ballot after oh. you voted, it does not count. Mm -hmm. It does not count. Do not allow anyone to mark your ballot in any way after you voted. How do you stop them? Put it in the machine. You put you it in the, it in the you put it in right the thing. Oh. You know, oh, and right. mm -hmm. as you have been saying, yeah. young people, make sure yeah. that you have done your homework and you know that you can vote where you are. If you're not sure, ask somebody, yeah. because if you don't vote, you don't get counted. We're going to be giving mm -hmm. as many of these things as we can because everybody needs to know it, and everyone's not getting the information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this so is we're just getting a lot of yeah. sit at home and yeah. sit on the couch and not be engaged politically. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, we, we give, let me just add one thing to that, a small thing. People believe us because we are checked by ABC News here, so we're not giving you fake news. We're giving you the real deal. That's well, right. Well, we're giving you what, we're not, what we know. Mm -hmm. You know, and if that changes, we'll let you know. Yeah. We will not leave it sitting oh. out there like a little gas. They're playing oh,